Hi. How are you this evening? Good, I'm glad to hear it. Well, thank you for stopping into my coffee shop tonight. Mm -hmm. What can I make for you this evening? Okay, you're looking for just black coffee? Great to hear it. Well, I just want you to look... <laughs> well, I just wanted to let you know that we offer a variety of coffees and brewing methods so we don't just have a standard pot sitting around you know to fill up your cup and send you on your way mm -hmm. this is more of a coffee experience for you um, and today we are featuring four special coffees would you like to hear about them great so i will start with this coffee. This is the Black Rifle Kodiak Attack. This is a medium roast coffee and the company is veteran founded and it is roasted in the, in the United States. Mm -hmm. So this coffee um, has some citrusy chocolate flavors so you know it's a rich, strong flavor, but nothing too bold that'll knock your socks off. Um, their description on the bag is, if you absolutely have to wrestle with anything, let it be deciding which great coffee to drink, not a thousand pound grizzly bear. Yes. Mm -hmm. The next coffee I have is the um, Starbucks Holiday Blend. Mm -hmm. You want to smell? Mm. It smells very good. So they say on the front, notes of sweet maple and herbs. And again, this one is a medium roast. So most of our coffees this evening are medium roasts. This coffee was created for celebrations and gatherings. We combined bright, lively Latin American and smooth, earthy Indonesian beans and roasted them to bring out their full flavors. Layered, balanced, and sweet with herbal and maple notes. Enjoy any time you want to take in the season. So it's enough for, it's got enough flavor for your more bougie coffee drinkers, <laughs> but it's also not going to be so strong that your basic coffee drinkers will also enjoy it. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what kind of coffee drinker you are, but this is a good crowd pleaser. The next two are some of my personal favorites. Okay, so the first one that I have here is Death Wish Coffee Company. This one is their medium roast, and this is the world's strongest coffee. Yes, so it's got more caffeine than your regular cup of coffee, so if you're looking for a wake-me-up, this is it here. And again, would you like to smell? All right. Yes, it is kind of an earthy, nutty scent. So they say this is a lighter shade of bold. Um, Death Wish Coffee Company's original flavor is a dark roast, um, but again, this is a medium roast. So, a lighter shade of bold. A lighter note from Death Wish Coffee. Medium roast. Grown at higher altitudes for a complex flavor profile, this roast brews a cup that's as bold as you are. A shade or two lighter than our OG blend, these beans contain the cult classic caffeine levels to function 
and the unfortunate circumstance of being awake. Mm -hmm. And they're fair trade certified and USDA organic. And then lastly, here I have the Javalia coffee. Mm -hmm. And this is another one of my personal favorites. This again is a medium roast, and this is the Colombian coffee. Rich, bold, and aromatic. Yeah. So this is going to be our smoothest cup of coffee. I really like this one because when it's brewed properly, if you enjoy creamer in your coffee, you really don't need a lot. So if you're one of those people who adds maybe like three tablespoons of creamer to your coffee, you don't need that much with Javalia, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. It's just a very nicely bold flavored coffee with not as much acidity as you would expect it to have and it just is overall my favorite. Mm -hmm. You want to hear more specific flavor details about Black Rifle? Okay. One moment, I have to do a little bit of searching for my information card. Yep. Just one moment, please. Okay. So, the Kodiak Attack ground coffee It says, this beastly coffee offers tasting notes of citrus, balanced with notes of sweet chocolate and berries. If you're looking for a great coffee that will literally maul your face with flavor, then look no further than this medium roast. And they say that because it's the Kodiak attack, it's a grizzly bear, and looks like the guy and the bear are facing off. Um... So medium roast has the most balanced flavor, aroma, and acidity. So this is a nice balanced flavor. I think it's a pretty rich coffee. And like I said before, if you are a person who likes creamer in your coffee, I would say you'd probably want to do your usual amount of creamer with this cup of coffee. Whereas Javalia, you need a little bit less, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. You want to hear about Javalia? Okay. Let me pull up my notes there. So... Javalia Colombian coffee fills your mug with rich and never bitter medium roast coffee. Javalia Colombian ground coffees are made from 100% Arabic beans sourced from the mountains of Colombia. Sorry, I don't think I pronounced that word right. <laughs> mm hmm. It has a sparkling, rich, balanced flavor with a touch of winey acidity. Yep. But again, I don't think this is acidic or as bold as the other coffees. Yes, let me see what my notes say about Death Wish here. So, Death Wish Coffee. It's a shade or two lighter than our original dark roast blend. We talked about that already. 
And this balanced blend was grown at high altitudes for hints of caramel and roasted peanuts, notes of stone fruit and smooth milk chocolate to finish. Smooth as the day is long, our medium roast provides that boost you need to go for bold. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the holiday blend. Let me pull up my notes for that one here. Thanks for your patience. So, again, they say it's an elegant flavor with layers of maple and herbal notes that are balanced with a medium acidity and body. Sweet and layered, every sip celebrates the joy of the season with this blend of bright Latin American and smooth Indonesian coffee. The holiday blend is complex enough to satisfy your coffee cravings throughout the season, yet approachable enough to share with a crowd. So, what are you thinking for your cup of coffee this evening? Okay. You're gonna try Javalia, based off of my high opinion and recommendation. Okay, well, I'm glad to hear it. So now let's move on to brewing methods. I have three options for you this evening. The first option is the classic French press. So, you put your grounds in this canister and then you boil water, let it cool for a minute or so so you don't burn the grounds. And then you pour the water in here, just a little bit, agitate the grounds, and then you pour the rest of the water. You let it steep for about, I usually do about two to three minutes because I think this is such a strong way to brew the coffee. And then you plunge it to separate the grounds and your liquid coffee now. And then I'll pour you a cup. And the plunger has three layers. So I can show you that here. So you get the smoothest cup of coffee that you like. We have two fine mesh layers and then just this thicker layer that keeps the grounds from going up the edge of the coffee cup here. Just keeps pressure so that nothing sneaks through. Let me reattach that and then I'll show you the second option. The second option will remind you of camping. So this is a percolator. And it has this insert in here. So you put your coffee in this little container. So your coffee goes in here. And um, Then you just put this back in the pot with your water. And you boil it. And once you see the water boiling up into this cap, you want to turn your heat down to a simmer. And you want to let it percolate for usually about a minute to two minutes for the strongest flavored cup of coffee. If you have gone camping or you're camping right now, I think this will give you the most nostalgic flavor. At least in my opinion. And finally, we have the classic pour over coffee. 
Um, so you put your grounds in this sieve, place it on top of this pot, and then you pour hot water over your grounds slowly and evenly distributing the pressure in the water, and that will brew you a nice cup of coffee. No, it doesn't matter what coffee you chose. They're all the same ground size. So it'll work out just fine for whatever brewing method you use. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the Javalia. You'd like a smell. You can change your mind, it's not final here. Mm -hmm. It smells very good. Um, Javalia is a little bit of a finer ground coffee. However, it works beautifully for the pour over as well as the French press. You typically want a little bit more of a coarser ground coffee. I would say coarse to fine for the French press and the um, pour over coffee. Or somewhere in the middle. Um, if you have a really fine coffee, that's good for espressos. Or a very coarse ground coffee, that's good for like your classic coffee brewer at home. Mm -hmm. All right. You want to do the pour over? Perfect. That is my favorite way of brewing the coffee myself. So I will uh, get started on that. Mm -hmm. And are you going to be drinking your coffee here or having it to go? Okay, drinking it here. That's just fine. I will put it in a mug for you. Um, and then we do have a dish bin located throughout the shop where you can place your used mugs, okay? All right. So just one moment while I prepare your coffee.
What would you like in your coffee this evening? Would you like it just black? Or would you like French vanilla creamer? Um, just vanilla simple syrup? Honey? Or milk and sugar? Or just milk? Okay, French vanilla creamer. A man after my own heart. <laughs> I will have that right up for you. All right, here is your cup of coffee, and I hope you enjoy. Mm -hmm. The total tonight is going to be six seventy-five, and if you like refill, it's free. I made a whole pot so that you can enjoy the full, rich flavor of the Javalia coffee. Yeah, because sometimes single servings made over the um, pour over can be kind of dull, I guess. Less intense flavor, watered down. Mm -hmm. So having the whole cup makes it, or I'm sorry, the whole pot makes it a more enjoyable experience. Mm -hmm. And like I said, refills are free, so if you want more coffee and creamer, just come on up and I can fill your cup up for you. Okay. Oh, thank you so much for the tip. Well, I hope you enjoy. And, yep, yeah, mm-hmm. And you can sit at any table you like, 